Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. This your girl Tanisha and my channel is Glamorous Mimi and welcome back to my channel. If you're not a part of my family, then hit that subscribe button at the bottom and turn that bell on so you won't miss any videos I post. And while you're at it, I just upload a vlog Monday. So tune in and check out my um, vlog channel. Channel is like Glimmer Sweeney and I'm leaving that link down at the bottom in this description box. Of course, you read that title, you read that thumbnail. This is the half up, half down hairdo, hairstyle that I achieve and I really adore. Stop. Adore. That's my baby. Adore. And I hate this timing because they, they like saving. I hate it because it get dark early. So, I'm not going to check too much and I'm just going to let y'all roll into the video see how I achieved this style because it's like, uh, it was kind of hectic doing your own hair. It's trouble to do your own hair, but I had to stop in between sometimes and blow dry and all. So, yeah. So without further ado, y'all just go ahead and check this video out and give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you let me know and down in the comment section if you like this style, if you like more videos like this, or if you want me to do, just tell me what you want me to do. Simple as that. So let's go. Today I'm going to use my Salon Pro 30 Seconds Weeping Molding Gel and some Vitas spritz and you will need some hair bonding glue this is good and some shears to cut your webs and a concealer to rock your perimeter let's get started today i'm working with fresh clean shampooed hair and i already um part my hair to my section and this is my hair that like braided up in the back and tucked and my front is to twist it down. I previously um, used this hair in a video and that I will have that link in the description box. But this is hair um, fresh, clean, and washed and shampooed. Now I'm applying my cap and it's best to use a cap, a wig cap because it's best to use that to protect your hair from any glue and all that good stuff. Now I'm taking my um, concealer stick to mark my perimeter of where I want to stop. So you don't want to go over your perimeter because if you do, that stuff gets in your hair. But even though you got a cap on, it's still protecting. Now I'm using my um, molding gel to protect my hair. I'm just putting it on the back and so it will protect my hair from the glue and make a haul with the spritz. It's all about the ugly faces. Now I'm taking my spritz to spray all over that mold to make it hard to protect my hair. But this is a great product, um, the spritz. I have used this for many years. Not many years, but some years and even through um, beauty school when I took cosmetology. Here I am um, doing the first wef. And when I made a video about this hair, the wefts were very thin. And when I say thin, it was very thin. And you see, I'm taking it down with my mold and it's resin all in the glue. And I'm gonna continue the process, as you know, taking it down and yeah, and I'm gonna stop talking, so I'll keep on watching until I reach the closing limit.
Here is the closure that came with the um, hair. What I'm gonna do is cut the closure in half and make it look like an invisible part on my half up and half down um, parting. Now I'm not sure many people has done this or seen this, but I just want to try because it's a closure. It's going to waste. I'm about to throw a closure away that I'm that's not being used. So I'm just using for that to make me a vent a visible part. If that sound like to you. Now I'm on cutting my cap and let me tell you sis, I had a hardest time. I thought I needed an assistant. I think I thought I needed to pull my sister in this video. But I got it. I had it. Yes, girl, yes. Cut that cap. And y'all, doing your own hair is pretty tiring. It y'all almost get tired and you gotta take a break. I'm telling you, it was the hardest for me doing my home it my own hair every time. This lighter body um control me edge tamer do my edges some magic not magical magical but some magic but I, it's good it's a good product let me tell you. And here I'm now working at my front to get this ponytail up. And I'll be done. Now I'm taking this next strip and I just uh, spray paint it black with um, tipping red hair color to wrap around my little ponytail. But I ended up not using glue on this, this front ponytail, but I used glue in the back. So it was, I was kind of irritated with the glue. So I just dropped everything and just stopped using the glue and just twisted around and just made my little ponytail. So this is the finished look. Um, thanks for watching. Help me get to 1,000 subscribers by subscribing at the bottom. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. So this is my finished look. No makeup today because I was submit my main concentrate was on this hair, this half up, half down. This is my complete look and yeah, this is the, the head I used in a previous video and I did a hair review on and I like it. It may not be a look for everybody, but it's a look I can rock. I love this hair. Yeah, I love this color. It's a little frizzy, but I'm trying to tame it with some water and some conditioner, even though it's thin as a hair, but you always can tame it and control it and get the retention back and the manageability okay so yeah